let's talk about that a little bit because um, when anyone brings up AI, every person, even journalists, think the first thing they think is, hey, is that going to take my job? Will I be out of a job? So how do you prepare for jobs that aren't existent yet? Well, so first and foremost, yes, can can AI lead to a lot of unemployment? It can, and that's why we got to take steps now. And and the first step that we should be taking is doubling down on the fact that AI should follow the law. Uh, we have existing laws and rules. Let's not carve it out of the existing laws like we've done previous previous technologies. We did that with social media and said social media shouldn't follow the same rules as newspapers, TV, and radio. And that led to a, a, a wild, wild west that has, has shown that young girls are increasing cutting themselves because of, of how social media has made them view themselves, right? Like, like let's not make those same kind of mistakes uh, w with AI. Uh, we need to be making sure we're training our kids in this. We shouldn't be saying, schools shouldn't be saying, no, you can't use generative AI. We should be making sure they know how to capitalize that on that. That would be the equivalent of when computers first came out, be like, nope, you know what? You can't uh, type your, compute, your, your paper on a computer or use a computer you got to use a typewriter like what you see over my shoulder here you know like like that like or you can't use your your cell phone right like like we should be making sure that we're educating our kids on how to uh, to use these because ultimately ai is a tool and it's a tool that could lead us to solving harder uh, more impactful questions and what we can do today and so the but but also with any kind of tool it could be used for good or it can be used for bad, but we can't let the bad prevent us from from figuring out how this solves major challenges, like you know, finally deal with issues of, of climate change. How do we make sure we're producing batteries that last uh, longer, or how we leave to to um, you know finding uh, uh, preventing diseases from happening? So this is the future. Congressman, you are always offering up solutions. Oftentimes they are bipartisan about the generational problems affecting this country. So I'm curious about your future. What's next for Will Hurd? Can we expect you going back into politics? Well, the, what's next for, for me is uh, planning a honeymoon for my wife. You know, I'm in my first year of marriage, and, and that's going to be my, my first uh, focus and attention. I'm going to continue to work on issues of national security, technology, and, and what that looks like. Uh, I don't know yet, um, but, but in the meantime, I'm going to make sure that I, I give my wife the best honeymoon of, of, of honeymoons. 